Well, I don't know about you, Mr. Moran, but there was something definitely weird going on in there. Yeah, it was weird, but... It was very strange. I'm not so sure I'm convinced that it was the dead and not just the maybe not so dead that were moving that table around. I think I'd still need some more evidence to this whole afterlife thing. Wait a minute. I'm getting a vision. What? Winchester? Rifle? House? Mystery? I think we gotta go to San Jose. Do you know the way to San Jose? Ah, a new day, a new town, and a new mystery. We're here at the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Now, the weird thing about this place is that it was built by Sarah Winchester, who was the heiress to the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. Sarah was told by a spiritual medium, ghosts were out to get her, and she built this house to keep them at bay. Well, let's go check this out. Okay. While Casadega was a town that summons the dead, the Winchester house just assumes they're coming. But when ghosts show up here, they'll wish they'd spook somewhere else, because the architecture of this place makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Stairways hit the ceiling. I can't get much higher. <laughs> <laughs> and doors open into midair. Hold on. <laughs> But all that doesn't seem to bother Sarah Winchester, cause she wants it that way. But why? Well, we're about to find out. This is the Winchester Mystery House, located in San Jose, California. This Victorian estate is an architectural mutant that seems the creation of one of Edgar Allan Poe's drunken nightmares. But the reality is that this house was the pet project of millionaire rifle heiress Sarah Winchester. We came because we were told that this place was designed to keep evil spirits away. But with each step we take, we keep asking ourselves, what was this lady thinking? For some answers, we turn to today's head of the household. I'm Shozo Kagoshima, general manager, Winchester Mystery House. This is quite a place. Where did all the money come from to build it? Well, Sarah Winchester inherited the money. Her husband and father-in-law were the founders of the Winchester Rifle Company. Connecticut's Winchester Company makes the famous gun that won the West, the Model 1873 Repeating Rifle, named for the year of its debut. It armed people with a rifle that they could cock and shoot, as opposed to the single loaders uh, that other people were using in the day. I mean, that was a tremendous advantage in warfare, right? It was high technology for that time, yeah, exactly. It's hard to think of the rifle as new technology, but Winchester's timing is perfect. His invention comes as Americans begin settling the lawless West. During this unruly time, many Americans take the law into their own hands. And those hands are often clutching a Winchester rifle. Just seven years after his revolutionary rifle hits the market, Sarah's husband becomes a multimillionaire. The money pouring in seems a blessing. Just years earlier, the couple had suffered the heartbreak of the death of their infant daughter. Now secure in their wealth, Sarah and William can start over. But in 1881, William Winchester dies of tuberculosis. After his death, Sarah Winchester is alone and suddenly finds herself the beneficiary of $20 million, an astonishing sum in those days. Grieving the loss of her family, she looks for answers in the afterlife. Well, it's said that she came across a medium in Boston who told her that the deaths of her family, her husband and daughter, were caused by the spirits of all the people killed by the Winchester rifle and that as long as she kept building a house, that the spirits wouldn't harm her. In 1884, the medium tells Sarah to leave Connecticut and travel to California. There, Mrs. Winchester buys property in rural San Jose. Sarah consults no architects and starts designing the house on her own. She just dreams up her plans on a daily, last-minute basis and expects her staff of 22 craftsmen to saw, hammer, and paint 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Adding to Sarah's demands is her unrelenting paranoia. Anyone caught slacking off will be fired on the spot. 
From 1884 to 1922, the Winchester House rises above sleepy San Jose into a monstrosity built with 10,000 window panes, 950 doors, 47 fireplaces, and 20,000 gallons of paint. And those are just the ordinary features. Take a closer look, and bizarre details are everywhere. Well, she used the number 13 quite a bit, and if you look up at the chandelier here in the center, uh, it came from Germany with 12 gas jets, but when she got it here on the estate, she had the 13th one installed in the center. And it said that 13 was a very popular number for Mrs. Winchester, so you'll see it in steps on stairways, windows, you name it, panels in the ceilings. Sarah Winchester also has a safe locked inside another safe. And that one is, of course, locked within a yeah, third well, safe behind safe. a run-of-the-mill door. It's pretty oh, secure. Yeah. So what did Sarah keep in here? Well, it said she kept her valuables in there, but when it was opened up after her death, all they found was a locket of her daughter's hair. Boy, wow. that sure would have disappointed any robbers breaking into the house, huh? <laughs> after breaking into this safe. Not too many. The safe really hits home what Sarah Winchester values most. Not her money, but her lost loved ones. Suddenly, Sarah's house becomes a symbol of her overwhelming grief, and we want to see the rest of it. But since it's so easy to get lost around here, we turn to house guide Cheryl Hamilton. So now, this place is haunted, right? Some people think so, and some people have heard things and seen things in here. Well, have you ever seen anything? Chester, I haven't seen was, anything. She must have thought it was haunted, right? I mean, isn't that why, isn't that her reason for uh, continuing to build constantly? To confuse the spirits and keep them away from her. Since Sarah is such a secretive woman, there's really no telling what motivates her. Is it a fear or a love of the spirits? What she hears or sees, nobody knows. But one of the few clues she can't keep to herself is the sound of this ringing bell, which is best seen from the roof. We just keep going People up and up and up. Seven or eight times a day. Ow! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this would be a good place, one of those signs that says, watch your head. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, look, there's the bell. You sure that thing is ringing? <laughs> <laughs> no, today we only ring it on Friday the 13th. Oh. We ring it 13 times at 1 p.m. in honor of Mrs. Winchester's favorite number. When she was alive, they rang it in the morning and in the afternoon to call workers in for their meals. They also rang it at midnight and 2 a.m. to call the spirits for dinner her nightly seances and let them go afterwards. Hmm, seances. Since we're all too familiar with those, maybe our expertise, or lack thereof, can help us channel into the warped logic behind Sarah's house. Well, let's check out the actual spot where she supposedly makes contact with the spirits, her seance room. So what, whose spirits was she contacting, do you know? These were the good spirits, rather than the spirits of the people killed by the guns who were out to get her. Aha, uh -huh. so she was working both sides of the fence. She was right. working with the good ones, they were telling her how to build the house, and the, in turn the house, the confusing house, would keep the bad spirits away from her. Right. So this room would channel the good spirits, and the rest of the house was used to perplex and confuse bad spirits. It's all starting to make sense now. At least to Sarah Winchester it did. Is there any record of what a seance would actually consist of when she came here to, to speak every night with the spirits? Actually, nobody knows except that she was in here by herself. She didn't allow anybody else in here. She was actually pretty determined not to have anybody else in here. She made the room with one door in, but three doors that go out. One door that goes in, but three doors that go out? Behind one of those doors must lay the secret of Sarah Winchester's mystery house. Whoa, there's no floor. Yeah, which do you recommend we take? This one over here. You can see that it's disguised as a closet, but you can go right through there. Another unfinished room. Yep. Great. Well, what's so special about this door? Well, you can go out, out through it, but you can't come back in. You can't come back in? Hey, wait a second. Hey, no. I don't think we're alone in here. 